World transmission in three, two, one. There's a number of things that I've learned about low-budget filmmaking over the years. And one of them is, if it's an action film where weapons will be used, don't bring an expensive prop like this one into the action if you don't want your shit damaged. Because the moment your head is turned, it will be on the ground, in pieces, guaranteed, sometimes from screwing around, but... Most of the time it's just because actors are concentrating on their performance and not the pristine preservation of your props. I've made it. So we got your actresses, Jing Song and Cassie Rehorn, here on a crotch rocket doing about 40 or so. And Cassie pulls out the big money prop. Now, I was a little worried about them being on the motorcycle together. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to lie there. But I wasn't worried about her dropping the pistol in the street or hurting someone because I always keep my eyes peeled for cheap crap like this. Especially if I've got a better quality piece to use for close-ups lying around at home. So I picked this one up. At a yard sale for like about a buck fifty, and we will dress it up for its stand in performances. I cover some things that might really help filmmakers who are just getting started separate themselves from backyard amateurs. So, if I don't cut my finger off here, let's get started first. Have a damn good reason for your film to exist. Know why you must make it, because if you don't know that, neither will anyone else. They'll ask. What was the point? Why did they make this film? Why does this film even exist? My God. Second thing, solve your problems with massive creativity. And I'm really sorry, that is super blurry there. But that's what happens when you're filming yourself. Anyway, I have a real pistol here. I don't want it damaged. I got enough things on my mind to concern myself with and focus on. And it's just something I don't want to have to concern myself with. So I found that most problems are actually hidden opportunities anyway. They're hidden opportunities to get creative. And I've often discovered if I look at a problem long and hard enough, there's almost always a creative solution that not only solves the problem, but creates a better result than I originally intended. Almost always. It's kind of like this slingshot effect. The harder the problem and the obstacle pulls you away from your goal, the more power and velocity is created when you find a creative solution forward. We'll touch more on this in future transmissions, but for now, know the reason you're writing the script is because this film must be made and search out the most creative solutions to each and every obstacle on your journey. Don't just quit on an idea just because it looks overwhelming and expensive. Find a creative way to solve the problem. And that's how we separate the men from the boys, the women from the girls, the warriors from the warriors. Please click the like area down below, subscribe, comment. You can always go to the website at dirtcapsulefilms.com. Check out the merch, which right now we got t-shirts, but we're gonna have hats and all kinds of cool stuff in the future. Join the email list, get the free monthly newsletter. And if nothing else, join us on Facebook or Twitter. I think my gun's looking pretty good here, you know? They look pretty similar, right? It's not exact, but it will work for what we need it for. Thanks so much, more in the future. Dirt Capsule, transmission over and out.